What's up guys, it's Pete here from the Boat Breakers. I'm currently on the Carnival Sunrise and I want to take you guys around the ship to show you what I see. To give you guys an idea of what the ship is all about. So let's dive right in. Starting off on deck three, we are in front of the Radiance Restaurant. This is a main dining room that is included with your fare and offers some incredible meals. This is open for brunch as well as dinner and the menu does change every day. Making our way out, we are greeted by the lobby. So here you can see the atrium bar, which is a really cool place to get cocktails. And to the left, you can see the photo booths, which you can take some great pictures on during elegant night when you're dressed up. Get a really cool view of the atrium. To the left, we have adventures, which is Carnival's shore excursion office. So if you want to book a shore excursion on board, you can go there. And then you have the beautiful atrium. This is honestly one of the better ships that we've ever seen with decor on Carnival for an older ship. It was refurbished in 2019 and it looks extremely modern. And then you have guest services. Guest services is where you can go to make a complaint and hopefully they can get that resolved for you. But you're on vacation, so hopefully it's just smooth sailing. And you can just shout out a crew member who has made a difference in your vacation for the better. Going up a floor, we have deck four, the Atlantic deck. So going through the staircase, you have Pixel Studio. Here you can go to purchase your pictures that you have posed for throughout your cruise vacation. Pixels also has an awesome view of the atrium. As you can see, the glass elevators, the three floors. And walking forward, you have Java Blue Cafe. So Java Blue is a specialty coffee shop on board. It has some great premium beverages. I'd highly recommend checking that out. And straight from there, you have the Radius Restaurant as well as Fahrenheit 555. You guys saw the Radiance Restaurant on deck three, so we won't be going into there, but we will be going into the steakhouse. Walking into here, you can see Fahrenheit 555, which is the steakhouse on board. It has an open kitchen which I absolutely love. It's a very small, intimate steakhouse. It doesn't have as much seating as I have seen on other carnival ships, but it has a lovely decor, as well as this awesome wine cellar that you can check out. Walking out of the steakhouse and Radiance restaurant area, you have the Limelight Lounge. Limelight doubles as the comedy show, as well as the nightclub spot. So this is your hub for pretty much all your nightlife. I absolutely love this club. It's very picturesque and you get some great Instagrams for this. So kudos to Carnival for making it look really pretty. It is pretty large for a nightclub. However, for the comedy show, there isn't that much seating. So you do want to line up pretty early to get a good seat. There's a bar in here. So you definitely want to grab a quick cocktail. My favorite is the punch liner. You can only get it in the comedy club and it is a strong little boy. And you'll be laughing at a lot of jokes because of that drink. Exiting the liquid lounge, you have the Sunshine Restaurant. This is the Your Time Dining Restaurant which is pretty much an exact replica of the Radiance restaurant. Looks the exact same, but this is where you can go anytime between 5.45 and 9 p.m. to eat dinner. I know there's been a lot of complaints about staffing, but let me tell you, when we ate here, we did not feel like it was understaffed at all. It was actually incredible. The wait staff were absolutely amazing here. Going up to deck five, the promenade deck. This is unlike any other promenade deck I've been on in a carnival fleet, so let's jump right in because this is really exciting. First, we have the Alchemy Bar, which is Carnival's classic cocktail bar that mixes science and cocktails. You can't go wrong there. They'll build drinks to your flavor profile. I highly recommend checking it out. And across from that, we have the Piano Bar. Piano 88 is a really cool bar. However, it is a little small, so don't expect to sit while you're down here because there's only a few tables. But they do have a live musician playing piano music. It's always a great time to have some good sing-alongs. Next to that is the Red Frog Pub. Oh my God, this place is jumping every night. Let me tell you guys, they have an extremely vibrant crowd at here at nighttime. I'm not sure if it's because we sailed out of the port of Miami, but there was a lot of Hispanic music going on every night, a lot of salsa and bachata music. It was turned up in here. So I highly recommend checking this place out. If you really like some live music and Latin music, it's an incredible place to go. And in the back here, you have some games to play. So they have the foosball table and shuffleboard, bar style, of course, and some really cool barrel tables. It's just a really cool vibe in here. This is honestly one of my favorite bars. And at nighttime, this place comes alive. We know drinking on vacation can be expensive. So Pete and I wanna hook you guys up. If you comment on this video, we're gonna be giving away $50 worth of gift cards to people in the comments. So be sure to comment. As I said before, 
here's the stage where all the live musicians play on, and then you have the dance floor right across from it. So let's keep going. Right across from the Red Frog Pub, you have Bonsai Sushi. This is an interesting choice to put this here because the casino is right next to it and you do get a little swift of smoke every now and then, but for the most part, it's a very enjoyable experience. They have the sushi bar across, so you go pick it up or they will bring the food to your table, depending on what you want or how busy it is. But it's an interesting place. I like the decor of Bonsai here. And across from Bonsai, like I said, the casino. So this casino has a bunch of slots. It's very slot heavy. They do have your typical table games as well. So they do have blackjack, craps, roulette. They don't have poker, but they do have this video poker game that you'll see right in front of here. And then across from video poker is the Skybox Sports Bar. This is an awesome place to catch a football game during the season. Um, we got to hang out. They do offer food as well. It is free, so they do have hot pretzels and popcorn. Nothing really too filling, but something to snack on while you're watching a sporting event. And the best possible place to put a candy shop next to all the cigarette smoke, we have Cherry on Top. So here is the local candy spot that you can go and you pay per pound for candy. And next to that is also the warehouse, which is the arcade. It's definitely a uniquely shaped arcade. I haven't seen a carnival ship arcade like this before, but it does have all the toys and all of the games to keep you entertained. The games do range from two dollars to around three dollars so not breaking the bank too much but they can add up quickly and coming out of the warehouse we have all of the fun shops so here you can get your duty-free liquor your jewelry they have watches which are a little overpriced but you are saving on duty free so it is probably comparable to if you just bought it on land but some sales are actually pretty good so it is worth checking out the duty-free shops while you're on board making our way up to deck nine the lido deck the other floors are pretty much just state rooms so we're not gonna do a walkthrough of those areas but here on the lido deck you're greeted by oh, i'll never get tired of that view an awesome sunbathing area to the right you have blue iguana tequila bar which specializes in tequila cocktails my personal favorite and then across from that you have the red frog rum bar which obviously specializes in rum cocktails pick your poison they both offer some great choices and ahead of that, we have Guy's Burgers, which is an awesome place. Best burgers I'd see in my humble opinion, and I will stand by that. And next to that, we have Blue Iguana Cantina, which is the Chipotle of Carnival. It has awesome, really fresh options. Whenever we go, their breakfast burritos are incredible. They're also open for lunch as well. Walking through the buffet, it is pretty crowded on our sailing. We were at 100% capacity, so it is worth noting. Hopefully, it isn't going to be this crowded for you, but the lines weren't terrible. Walking through the Lido Buffet though, it's so apparent that they really did try to update the ship as best as possible. It's a great merger between the Vista class and XL class when it comes to decor. And coming out of there, you have the pizza joint. This honestly looks like a little Italian piazza. They did a great job with this area. I haven't seen any other carnival ship that looks like this unless it's the brand new XL class. So great job to the carnival on doing this one. And walking across, you can see that we have the pool area here which is a nice place. It's much more chill. They don't pipe in music here. So it's kind of just a cooler place to hang out and just talk to people. And then across from that, we have the seafood shack. This is a paid for option, but they do offer some very high quality seafood. It's also fresh or fried, depending on how you like to eat your seafood. Heading upstairs, we're in the aft of deck 10. Straight ahead, you can see the smoking section, but we're heading into this beautiful restaurant, which is Cochina del Capitano. This is the Italian restaurant on board. This is paid for, but lunch is free. They offer an amazing Italian selection. And during lunch, they have this awesome pasta bar that you can go to right here and cut a custom pasta dish. It overlooks the Lido Buffet, which actually offers some really cool views. It's a great people watching spot. And as we head outside of Cucina del Capitano, we have Guy's Pig and Anchor, the famous barbecue place at sea. This is an incredible place. This is only open on embarkation day as well as sea days. So make sure you head out here. The line can be kind of long. So once it opens, I highly recommend going there first for your lunch option that day. You can check the Carnival Hub app to see what times it's actually open. Walking through the pool area, this is a great place to people watch. You have the TV over there. So you could do some nighttime dive in theater movies as well as 
watch some contests that Carnival hosts on the Lido deck. There's also Waterworks on this deck. So this is the little water park that everyone can go at. It's for all ages, it's not just kids. These slides are actually a lot of fun. So we're making our way up to deck 13. The Aqua Tunnels, which also has Serenity. The best place to put an adults only place is right in front of the kids slides. Walking through Serenity, you can see that they have plenty of lounge chairs and these are so much more comfortable than the lounge chairs that are just on the regular decks. This is the adults only area, so you do have to be 21 and up, but come here early if you want a good seat. They do have those little shells that protect you. And then we have the showers here. So if you're feeling a little hot, you could come in the showers, cool off. They also have these awesome little fake huts as I like to call them. They have a great view of the side of the ship. And then right across from the fake huts, you have the hot tub, which is a really large hot tub that overlooks the side of the ship. So you really cannot beat this view. Serenity is two floors, so we're making our way downstairs. They have the towel area that you can rent towels from, which is completely free to you as long as you return them, of course. And of course, what adult area wouldn't be complete without a bar. So you have a bar in the Serenity area as well on the back of deck 12. And also on deck 12, you have Camp Ocean, so you can drop off the little kids here to play as the adults want to go out and play and have their own fun as well. Right under Camp Ocean, you have Cloud 9, which is the spa area as well as the gym. So if you want to come here, get a massage or facial and treat yourself because you're on vacation and you deserve it, you can come here as well as if you want to come all the way to the gym to burn some calories from tons of eating that you will do on this vacation. Also understandable, some people just want to hang out, enjoy their vacation, relax. Some people want to get after it and burn some calories. So if you're that type of person, this is a great option for you. It has a really wide variety of equipment. You have free weights, you have machines, a ton of cardio equipment. So this gym definitely does not fall short of equipment that you can use. And it's also never too crowded. And as we teleport to Sports Square, this is Deck 11 Aft. So this is a completely free area, which is awesome. Some really cool thrill staking stuff. Personally, we went on this a few times during the course of our cruise. They also have this plank that goes over the side of the ship that if you look directly under you, it's nothing but water, which is extremely scary, but extremely thrilling at the same time. So if you're a thrill seeker and you want to get a little active and you don't want to go to the gym, this is an awesome option for you. This is also the basketball court where they host a volleyball game, or you could just play some pickup basketball. This is also the jogging track. So if you want to go around the track a couple times, I think it's 10 times for a mile. So it's a small jogging track, but it could definitely get the job done. And if we go upstairs, you can see that there is the mini golf course. This isn't the biggest or the most majestic mini golf course that I've ever seen, but it is still fun to play at nighttime. This is open at night. So after you have a few drinks in you, after you're done with dinner and you're done with the comedy show and you're looking for some time to kill, you could come up here and have a blast. We've did it a few times actually. Thank you guys so much for checking out our video and be sure to check out our other videos if you want any more Sunrise content. Thanks.